Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News are right here on YouTube, and today we're back talking about another brand new Ghostbusters item from Hasbro. This time it is the Ghostbusters Afterlife Ghost Whistle? Yeah, a ghost whistle. How does a ghost whistle fit into the upcoming Ghostbusters movie, you may be asking. And if you are asking that, well, I certainly suggest checking out the link down below in this video's description, as we recently put out a video talking about how a ghost whistle fits into Ghostbusters Afterlife. But this video here today, the video you're watching right now, it's all about this brand new, hopefully fun, Ghostbusters toy from Hasbro. Taking a look at the packaging here, it does feature that same style packaging that we've seen with so many other Hasbro releases. We got the Ghostbusters Afterlife logo there, the caution striping, and you can see the packaging does advertise that the ghost whistle makes sounds. Which I hope it would make sounds, because that makes sense. Because it's a whistle, and whistles make sounds. Now from what it says on the packaging here, it looks like all you gotta do is actually just kinda like, turn this little like circular dial here, so let's go ahead... Was that Slimer? Was that Muncher? I don't know, it was certainly a ghost. Let's turn it again. I know what that was. Now taking a look at the back of the packaging, you got this kid here who's just so, so happy to have his ghost whistle in hand, and I don't blame him. As well, it also shows that the ghost whistle does attach to the brand new Hasbro Proton Pack. Be sure to keep it locked to Ghostbusters news here on YouTube as we'll be doing a full review of that Proton Pack very, very soon here on the channel. So we now have the Ghost Whistle out of the packaging here, and as you can see, the dominant color here is blue. Very much like those old school real Ghostbusters Kenner toys from back in the day. We've also got some silver accents and of course caution striping because, you know, you can't have Ghostbuster items without caution striping. We've got that big circular dial there, and you can actually see on that dial, we've got images of Slimer, a Terror Dog, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, or maybe it's a Mini Puft, and also Muncher. As well, we also have some of the symbols that were featured on Peter Venkman's ESP cards. Taking a look at the other side of the whistle there, we've got the Ghostbusters logo, as well a sticker that is made to look like they're monitoring, I guess, the audio that is coming out of the whistle. Oh, I actually also want to make mention that there's a little small belt clip here, so if you're not attaching the Ghost Whistle to the brand new Hasbro Proton Pack, you know, you can attach it to your backpack or, you know, one of your belt loops or what have you. There is also this red portion here with a hole in it, so I'm assuming this is where I, like, I, I blow into and... What? There's some holes down here. Let me kind of block those holes. I don't think this is a proper whistle here. Oh. Yeah, this is not like a whistle at all here. There's like no area to like properly blow into. So while it's called a ghost whistle, you actually can't, you know, blow into it and, you know, make a whistling noise or anything. Really, it's only audio feature or function is right here. And once again, it's like this little like uh, turnstile. So actually, let's go ahead and let's play around with this. So right now, if we turn it one over, we're going to select Muncher. At least that's what it's showing is Muncher. So let's hit that. That could be Muncher. I mean, kind of sounded like Slimer, but okay, let's kind of continue here. Let's go back to Muncher. Okay, that was a totally different noise than before. So I don't really think it matters which uh, little logo or icon you have uh, it selected on. So let's kind of continue here. We got a disgusting burp. So great. So the packaging did make mention that there's 15 plus noises that you can listen to on this thing. But for the most part, they're all kind of like grunts and groans and screeches and squeals. Now I think for a kid, this could be like a really, really fun toy. As an adult collector, I mean, it's cool. You know, it's Ghostbusters, it's all right. But um, yeah, I think kids are certainly gonna get a lot more enjoyment out of this than once again, an adult collector like myself. Now that being said, if you'd like to grab your very own Ghostbusters Ghost Whistle, we do have links right down below in this video's description Click it and buy yours today. That does it for this video. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. A link to that can be found right down below in this video's description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.